What's up you guys? You're watching Surgery Secret. Before I get started with today's video, I'm literally a hot mess. I'll leave the links for everything that I talk about today. And as you can see, I have music playing on. Um, but today's video is just basically gonna be like come spend the day with me type of stuff. Wednesdays are usually like my days where I kind of like to have like a relaxing day somewhat, but I still have like stuff to do. So today I... First of all, I need to pump gas, girl. We ain't gonna go nowhere without no freaking gas. Um, literally, I was just in the parking lot here, and you know, like, when it's, like, double-sided, well, I parked, like, in the front, and, like, this old lady was, like, right here, and she, I guess she thought I was gonna run her over, and so she ended up cussing me out. So, she ended up cussing me out. My face kind of turned, was, like, I mean, there's nothing I could do. Like, I was literally, I wasn't gonna run you over. That happened. I have to pump gas. I'm gonna go get my feet done. I wanna go to, like, two TJ Maxx's, because I have a TJ Maxx gift card. I have to pick up a Valentino bag. My friend is gonna come over and we're gonna go swimming and then we're gonna have a uh, dinner and then I'm probably gonna film two videos and then I probably have like a phone car too to do but other than that it's a pretty chill day in my car I do have a couple of things that when I do pick up the Valentino bag that I do have to uh, kind of like have a chit chat fun day so there's a couple of items that didn't work out that I have to return so these are some by far shoes and I really wanted them they kind of give me like they look very theatrical like I really thought they were like Shrek looking shoes like something like a character from Shrek would wear and so they look like this and they have like this beautiful chain and it's patent leather but you know I have white feet problems and they didn't fit so that and I didn't I felt like it looked kind of like much for me it looks so I I'm gonna return it so it looks right here and it literally says crazy love with the K and then in the back it says Burberry, but it's not really my style, so that's gonna go back. And then I got this Alexander McQueen shirt, and when I got it, it has like all these holes on it, but that's not even the fact, I just didn't care for it. But it's just kind of roughly top, so I have to go and return all that later too. Um, I'll do that when I go pick up my valley. I'm gonna go to Houston next weekend, so that's gonna be like the bag that I'm gonna be using. Well, I'll probably end up using that bag like tomorrow or even tonight if we go to dinner. It'll probably be a vibe. But yeah, go ahead and follow me. I don't know where we're gonna pump gas. My car's like filthy messy. I definitely do wanna get my feet done. That's like definitely a priority. So let's go ahead and go get my feet done. It's in this place in Irving. I know it's like a little bit further out than here in Dallas, but I usually go there and everybody's usually super, super nice. So that's the only reason why I go there. And they're like, they, they actually do like a really, really, really good job. Like, I don't know, I feel like I'm the only like tall, like, gay guy or hispanic gay guy i don't know because every time i go there all like i could see like all of them speaking and when i go with my friends they all say the same they're like oh like you, you they they like recognize you as like a regular customer and but they always do a really really good job the last time i got my feet done was like right before i went to arizona so it's been like a little over a month so i definitely need to get it done again because honestly they're kind of gross looking i know they're kind of like it's not a vibe, so they definitely need to get done. I'll do like an outfit detail. I feel like I'm giving like the straight deal fantasy vibe with this shirt. Like literally, like I'll talk about it later, but my short says otherwise, so um, yeah. Outfit, I'm wearing my Ro Ginza um, sandals. I know my feet look like a hot mess, but I'm gonna get them done. At least I have shaped legs though. Um, Eagle D shorts, these are the, I don't even know what they're called. But they're, I have these in white and I have them in blue. And I like them because they're kind of short, but they're not like cheeky short. And then I'm wearing like this men's medium, medium um, Saint Laurent shirt I got on sale. Um, it reminds me of something like my brother would wear. And when I was younger, like those like Tommy Hill figure and like those type of shirts. Like that's what it reminds me of that my mom would buy us when we were younger, like me and my brother. That's what it reminds me of. But yeah, I have like so much trash. I definitely need to clean it up. Well, I guess the streets called instead of me getting my nails done. I mean, I'm still here, but the streets called, so now I'm here and I'm gonna see what goodies I can find. Hopefully, I find some good stuff. So, this is my outfit of the day St. Laurent tee. Um, super cute, it's like a men's medium, super oversized. These are the Eagle D shorts. They're a little short, but honestly, the tee kind of balances out. And then I'm wearing my rose sandals, and then my black Lulu. And I have two pieces of ready wear that I'm going to try on. I am going to buy a little wavy basket bag. I love them so much. So I found these St. Laurent trousers. They are 222. And then I get extra 30% off. And this kind of row, kind of like off cream color top. I always see it every time here. And this time I'm like, I kind of want to buy it this time. 
So let me go ahead and try these babies on and see how they fit. But I just love Saint Laurent because I just love the tailoring. Like I love the the fit of the clothing. Maybe not like a t-shirt like this, but like blazers and like other items. They fit really, really well. And um, the reason why I'm thinking about getting this is because this would go well with my Saint Laurent black blazer. So it'd be like a whole suit set. And so I think it'd be a classic item to have. So let me go ahead and try them on. I really like them because they're not high-waisted. They're kind of lower, and I feel more confident when they're a little bit higher-waisted. I mean, the fit of them is impeccable. I do like that they have the zippers on the side, so if you wear, like, booties and stuff, they'll fit really, really well. But, um, I mean, they fit good. They make my behind look good and everything. But um, let me do a squat test. Ugh, they're okay. I could wear them. But I just don't like, like how they're lower waisted. I wish they were like a little bit high. So this one's a no, but I know this one's going to be a yes for sure. It's called the Sonia dress. And for me, um, I wouldn't wear it as a dress, obviously. But I like the idea of it. It's like a little bit of a yellowy tint. Um, I like it because it's a little bit better with stainage. But it looks white on the camera, though. Um, but I just thought with like when I wear like shorts like these a woody ones are like super short Or like short denims with like body suits like this is like a good third piece with a lot of the basics that I have This material looks really well and let me see what the composition this is an SI small and it's 100% cotton So I kind of like this one. I always see it here I've seen it here for the last three months and it actually has where you can take off the collar as well I personally will keep the collar on, but I think it's so cute. It is so flattering, and it doesn't seem like this material is going to wrinkle a whole lot, but we shall see. I I really like it, and it's 30% off. Um, I really like this one. My friend said that I can style everything really well, so I think I can style this uh, to my liking, and I love the quality of the row, so I think this one's going to be a yes. They have this. Mark Jacobs bag, the Saint Laurent suede one. I've always wanted a Laya bag because School of Affluence has some and a babe, and she looks really fabulous wearing hers. So definitely something I would love to add. My birthday's actually coming up. Mark Jacobs wallet, Loewe, this Chloe Marcy. I bet you it's like four hundred dollars, and I think that's a phenomenal deal. But I already have one in like a really blue color, so I feel like I don't really need one. This product one's actually really pretty. It's black and it has like super hardware on the side. It is a little scratch on the side, but I mean, it's refurbished, so what do you expect? Long shot bag, 384. Isabel Moranto in this crackled kind of leather. Trey Birch Perito in the older version in this croc. It's not bad, 239. And it has this little clochette too with it. I think this is from Fall from last year. And then there's Margot from The Row. Some Roger BBA wallet, a Burberry wallet, and they have this Row um, ascot bag in this red color, and then in this peachy color. I mean, meaning to do my vlog, so but I've just been so busy. Um, but there's a lot of good things that I have. This little wavy little gate bag. Like I think I'm selling like. I think I already said this, like a couple of things, like mostly contemporary. It's just I just have an overflow of so much stuff. And every time I move out, which I am going to move into a new apartment very, very soon within the next kind of 90 days. Oh my God, I can't believe the year of my full apartment is already here. They have some long shops. They have this um, little, the row, little um, pouch. But the year flew by so fast. I feel like I accomplished nothing, but there was a lot of things that I did accomplish though. This baby Lee Raswell. And then they have this Bottega Veneta um, suede tote. They actually have them too. They have that one and that one. Oh my God, this is very Rosie Huntington Whitney. 12.55. Such a stunning handbag. Ugh. Super, super cute. 30% off some of like the things that have been here a little bit longer. You got that Givenchy has been here forever. It's been here for years. Board tote is actually really pretty right here. I actually really, really like it. I have to go ahead and start thinking about ideas because this time with my apartment, not saying anything bad, but I'm trying to make it a little bit less Ikea-ish and I want it to be a little bit more um, elevated. So like they have these tables in here. So I'm still looking at spots probably next week or in a week or two. I'm going to bring you guys along. I'm bring my friend Cassie. Sometimes like I'm a very straightforward person, but Cassie's like 
karate chop like she will like tell me yes or no on a lot of things and so this literally looks like a store like a tom ford chair this literally looks like a tom ford chair but she's very straightforward so uh, when we look at apartments um she's gonna be the one that's gonna tell me yes or no yes or no on a lot of things but she's gonna help me decorate um i definitely do want to go a little bit all out i definitely do want to you know put all my forces in um and kind of go all out when i decorate it um i don't know what the theme is i just want it to look like very elevated very clean modern um that's the theme that i kind of want to go to when i get my new apartment so i think it'd be really great for me to bring you guys along in the journey there is an inner mess cup that i kind of want it's 90 dollars and i get 30 percent off but i'm not sure but i also like this little xoxo one right here i got two goodies i'll show you what i got when i get back but i do love um everything that i got this is well needed guys i will make you an absolute growth in the festival but yeah, I'll leave the directions for this place down below for you guys. Okay, so my toes don't look bad after all. I mean, they look kind of like a hot mess because if you guys know, I have like ingrown nails and I had to like get surgery to get it removed when I was like a lot younger. So my toes are not the cutest, but my feet needed to get done. So I'm super happy that they're actually done now. And now I can, you know, go swimming later today and live my best life. Okay, I am so happy. They look so good. They needed to get done. And I feel accomplished. I feel good. So now I'm about to go home to grab something for my friend. And then I'm going to go have lunch at this place called Cava. They replaced all of those kitchen with it. And so that's where I'm going to go. And I'm going to put the stuff that I bought from last call into my home. Because you never know. And then I have a package. A couple packages that I have to get from my Amazon locker. But in for the win not sure if i want to do an outfit change though you know how crazy i could get so this is the place where i get it done they always do a good job so if you are in irving or in dallas like i love coming here they're so nice and super sweet like i said every, there's like a different person does it all the time but every time i come they're like oh it's the guy that comes here like once a month but they did a good job my flip pops are like slippering but um yeah um can i please get um a lemon raspberry Un antojito. Tengo un antojito. What are you getting? Um, I'm gonna get... Un antojito. Un antojito, un antojito. So what is up you guys? So I have an update. So I ended up buying my birthday present. Um, I got it ordered and it will come on Friday. So I'm super excited for that. I had lunch at Cava with one of my close friends. I went to, um, I went, I went and visited my favorite essay and I bought a Valentino handbag. I went to nothing but cakes and I started eating it and they don't give you forks. So I started like eating it with my tongue, kind of gross. And then we're at TJ Maxx. So we're gonna go to TJ Maxx now and see what we can find. And it's 4.48, depending on time, we may go to another one or we may not. We shall see, but I am going. And then I ended up giving a gift to my, I dropped, oh, I need holy water. My Bottega bag fell on the floor. I need holy water. Um, it's bad luck if, if your bag falls on the floor. And so um, I'll do an outfit. I really, really like my outfit a lot. Um, I eat Kava. I feel like I'm not going to be hungry for like the next couple hours, but we shall see. I love the Valentino back that I bought. It's very like, obviously Valentino's color. Well, I feel like their signature color is like red, right? And so it's like a red bag and it'd be like perfect for Houston next weekend. So I'm like super low key excited. It's kind of like the TJ Maxx red color. And so I'm super excited to wear it and to use it, but we're going to see what they're going to have here. I have a gift card, so um, it's kind of a partial reason why we're here, but we'll see what we'll find. And hopefully I don't have anything in my teeth. Anyways. The fitting rooms are now open. They were closed forever. Now they're finally opening. So they have some Veronica beard. I feel like this is a scuba blazer. We have 180, this blue one. Uh, getting back into the groove of things. Oh my God, they have a Roman stud handbag. So they have these Vince pants. Louis Marcy, the one that's 1990 for $1,400. I think it's a pretty great deal. Um, 
this one oh, i love this bag i would love to add this bag into my collection very very soon so pretty that's $21.99 uh, hopefully i can source it through last call i have a bunch of belts a g1t gv3 i think that's a burberry wallet i could be wrong a classic mcqueen scarf i wonder how much that is because it is the classic one they have a chloe um fey bag i think it's a day fey but it's like more of the casual one and then they have a Ferragamo bag, Meschino. And then they have this Fendi kind of Raffia one and then the St. Laurent one too. Look at this little Fendi Raffia moment. So they actually have like good stuff. They have this little baby, baby um, Phil McCartney bag too. But, you know, you say come here for clothes. Obviously it's like fall season, so it's more sweater season. This is so cute. Has three little gate buttons on there. I can't wait to go to Brandy Melville too. Five hundred dollars, one fifty. I think this is one hundred percent cashmere. It feels like it to the touch. But let's see what we can find. Frame cashmere sweater. You can just feel the softness of the cashmere. Eighty dollars. I love those um, pants that I got from TG Maxx in Houston. So I'm excited to go back there. I told my cousin because I'm going with my cousin. I told my cousin, I said, girl. So we're gonna go to the TJ Maxx over there. So this Loki pop in. They said so they Loki be having good, good stuff. And then they also been carrying like a lot of good American. So they have like these good American leggings. And this top is a hundred bucks. It's a size large. Retails from three forty five. It's Loki kind of cute. I kind of want to try it on now that the fitting rooms are open. I guess we'll do like the celebration of fitting rooms being open these i kind of don't like the sleeveless on them unless i'm wearing a collared shirt i don't really like sleeveless i always like for them to have a collar this body suit and it's really pretty i actually really like this big shirt i really like the color a lot i've been into more tones like that and it's i only pay like 50 bucks for it these little half sips by redone they're 80 dollars from 265 i just have so much loungewear and i keep on buying more and more loungewear and i find that i'm missing like simple tops I think that's what I'm missing in my wardrobe. Or I have like too many state me tops. Like they have some Veronica Beard shoot. <clears throat> they have these. 129, that's actually not bad. I actually really like the quality of Veronica Beard footwear. Well, I like Veronica Beard in general as a brand. I think this color is really pretty. I'm not a big cork fan, but I like how it's kind of incorporated a little bit, not a whole lot. And these are $100. Kind of cute. But I really like this top. It's a large, so we'll see if I could, if I if I could really wear it as a shirt, or I could I can kind of like see how I style it. Oh my God, they have these redone jeans, eighty dollars. They look like they're gonna fit really well. Ooh, I love the wash on them. And usually they don't have they're high rise in their ankle, and they look like they have no stretch to them. I don't really like jeans that have stretches. Let, let me check. Oh, it has a little bit of stretch in it. Um. But it's super cute though. I'll try it once. It was at 28. You should go for 26. But I always for I forgot how redone jeans run. So I just try them on. Black wash ones. I feel like I don't need. I feel like I have so many. And I don't even reach for them because if I'm wearing like black wash jeans, I usually tend to wear um, black trousers instead. So I feel like I don't really need that at all. <laughs> I and mean, when we go to another TJ Maxx, we mean oh, but this is like, isn't this like a cute outfit with these Bottegas and even like these are like some black booties. I think it'd be like a good moment if fitting rooms are open. Veronica Beard trousers. I haven't seen a lot more Veronica Beard here at TJ Maxx, which is a good thing. But I don't remember the last time I went to TJ Maxx. It has definitely been way over a hot minute since I've been here. And there's just like some dresses. They don't have like a lot of runway items. I wonder if the clearance section has some good stuff. Body mm -hmm. person. Ferragamo, Marvado. I kind of want to go to Bath and Body Works, so the Lagos place is really cute. It's 180. Like, I'm always going to be about being a little bit more on the savvy side. Oh my god, look at this Bottega Veneta, like, bag looking one. I like the color of it. I need to put holy water, I better not forget. Probably when I edit this vlog, I'll remember myself. Yeah, and then I had somebody ask me on one of my videos if I'm Catholic. Yes, I am. And they have long stomps. 
remember that one vlog where I found a $50 long shot bag? I'm so excited. I feel like I'm back into the groove of like filming and stuff. I feel like I haven't done it. I still have like all my vlogs and stuff like from LA and from Arizona. I don't know if you guys want to see that still. If you do, definitely let me know. This filler bag is super cute. Liberty London. Oh my god, they have a filler gummo bag here. Five forty nine. Liberty London. I love Liberties when I went to the UK. Two hundred bucks. It's cute and it's a very generous size, and you can kind of you can kind of cinch it on the side too. See, this is the one that they have for one fifty. A hundred dollars, dollars. These colorful bags. You have like a lot of cute spade, furla. Look at these heart. I think my cousin was telling me she saw a heart bag here. I think this is the one she was talking about. She said that she was gonna buy it for me. I said, okay, girly. So if you go next time and they have it there, you can buy it for me. Ooh, let's travel in luxury. Michael Kors luggage. Period. Hmm. Yeah, they don't really have a whole lot. Usually, like, my shopping has been like, let me look at this and that, and then we just kind of, like, keep it moving. I have not been in this big room in such a long time, but I'll give you outfits. This is the top that I ended up getting from the row. It's a dress. It's a little wrinkled, obviously, because I was, like, driving and stuff. 100% cotton. I like the contrast. Um, Aritzia shorts. Aritzia bodysuit. Roberto coin necklace. My Ginza sandal. Michelle watch. And then these are the glasses that I got from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Oh my god. I love I love that they have the gradient lens because usually all the lenses are black. Like, I feel like this is kind of a vibe. Like, I'm here for it. And I was gonna wear, um, like, a colorful bag, but I find that the Jody just kind of goes perfect. Like, it's just... Like, I just... I'm here for it. Like, it's such a vibe and it's such a mood. And then here's the items that I'm gonna try on. So let me go ahead and try them on for you guys. I try it on. I know there's like one button open. I don't could care less. So the jeans do like they're very stretchy. They pass the squat test. They I feel like right now I still have to like obviously like I I just don't feel like bending them. But I just feel like they're going to give like a lot of stretch out. Like in the back they look pretty good, but I find that like as you can see they kind of like sag a little bit right here. And so I feel like they're gonna have like, if these ones were 27, they would be like perfect because they would be like tight, but then they would like stretch out. They would fit like how they fit right now, but these are definitely gonna stretch out because they do have like a good stretch. The wash of them is really pretty actually. They remind me of a pair of guest jeans that I had when I was like a child. But if they were 27, I would buy. Now, as far as this top from Vince, uh, first of all, I love the little piedritas. They look like, te they look like rotten teeth. Oh my god, sorry. I literally ate right now. Um, they literally look like little rotten teeth. I like the color. I like the pleating on the side. I like the slit on the side because it makes it more feminine. I like the collar. Um, I like the fit. It's like very comfortable. It's like a good kind of like basic. And I really like the color a lot. Um, so I think I am gonna chop off my hair. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I feel like I look like a hot mess um, So basically my best friend that does my hair is um, He's out from doing hair for two weeks. So I think I'm just gonna do a little buzz cut I mean my hair is gonna go back fast. So I think I'm gonna do that or I think I'm gonna re-dye it But I definitely do want to do something to this hair um, I should probably add more purple in it before I go to dinner tonight But this shirt I'm kind of living for it I love the color, I like the style, I like the slit. It's a large, it does have like a little bit of extraness, but I never really wear my shirts like that. I usually wear like a bodysuit and with like the nude and the tanny ones that I have from Express, I think it'll look really good. Yes, it's $100, out of $50 gift card, so 50 bucks from 345, not that bad. So I like the color, I like the uniqueness of the buttons, and I like I really like the pleating on it. If this was another, maybe if the other teaching Max has a size medium, I'll probably exchange it out. But I like it, so I think this is a, a yes. I really do like this a lot. I like the color. Oh my god, so it is 5.18. It's just been like such a good casual day, like a well-needed day. 
Oh my god. Oh, I'm so thirsty. I have this little cava water. I'm gonna move you right here. I ended up getting the Vince top. I have a group chat with all my girlfriends and it's called Hotties 2.0 and all my girlfriends said to get it. That it is so cute. It is so simple. It's just like such a good high quality basic. And I mean, I had a $50. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna see what the composition is. It reached out for 345, but that doesn't really matter. Like you just feel the quality is really good. And so I like it. I like the buttons. It kind of gives me kind of very like Nanushka, like more of like those new emerging designers by like the button details. But I really, really like the buttons and it came with extra buttons too. That was my concern just in case if I took it to the dry cleaners and the buttons get destroyed. It does come with um, extra buttons. So I really like the top. It's a really great item. Um, I'm gonna show you the bag that I bought, Tino bag that I got. I'm like so obsessed with it. Look at that. It's like literally like a little baguette, like a little pochette. Like I think this is the cutest thing ever. I'm gonna play with it. I have a feeling my mom's probably gonna steal this from me. I haven't decided if I wanna keep it for myself or I wanna give it to my mom. But isn't this so cute? Oh my god, it is so pretty. I'm gonna show you guys when I get home. But this is the bag that I got. And I got it for, I think, $6.60 from 18 something. So I think it was a pretty great deal. Um, but I, I've been having that bag in, I had it in another color on my wish list, but uh, it's a Valentino red color, so I mean, you can never go wrong with it. Um, right now, I think I do wanna go to the other TG Maxx, and then I think I just wanna go home and like relax for a little bit. So before I, um, I end up going to like dinner and stuff, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'll see you guys at the other TG Maxx. Very well, kind of like casual, like well needed. Uh, I still don't know what I want to do with my hair. I would love your suggestions. I'm not necessarily over the purple, but I do want to get it touched. But I will have to wait two more weeks until until my best friend could retouch my hair. So I don't know if I should just cut it off because it's at the point where like the roots. I don't like. I wouldn't mind like where it's black. Um, is like you know what I mean. Like I wouldn't mind if it's that short, but I would definitely want like a double zero on the side. I'm not sure. I've like cut my hair off, but it's been like more shaving it off. I guess this time would be more like faded out, but I'm not really sure. I don't necessarily mind the short hair, but we shall see. And then I think I'm gonna get my eyebrows done later on this week, but I think it looks good for now. I'm not necessarily complaining. Um, and this is, I think, two or three day hair. I don't wash my hair all the time, so, um, but it still smells good and so hygienic. But let's go ahead and go to the other TJ Maxx and see what we can find, girlies. I'm gonna let's see what they have in this TJ Maxx. So they have a Gucci bag rhinestone with the pearls. They have a baby Marcy. And this one's a thousand twenty-nine. The retail's this so you say three hundred dollars because I think it's thirteen. They have Gucci socks for seventy. They have this Gucci headband, a long shump wallet. Some Balmain eyewear for 60 a Lubitz and Paloma. Let's see how much are they asking for the Paloma. They want a rack for the Paloma. A Saint Laurent Nikki bag. They actually have good stuff at this one. Two racks for the Nikki. The Gucci belt. They want $379 for the Gucci belt. They want $1,800 for this. They have a Burberry backpack. They have a McQueen scarf. They had it at the other one. 150, that's actually not bad. That's the classic McQueen scarf. And they have these Raya totes from Gucci. And they want $1,800 for the Raya tote. And they have this Valentino one too. It's funny how like I just know all the all the names of everything. I'm like, yeah, they have this, they have the Gucci belt. I guess I have this little thingy where you can like ask for people. The socks are kind of cute, but you know I me, mean? like especially if you wear like black sole shoes, like they're gonna get dirty like the moment that you wear them. They have this little theory little stretch blazer, one twenty nine for the porch. Thirty five. These little turtleneck tops, thirty five bucks. I've been really into the color white or creams. I feel like I have so much black at the point where I like I don't even need any more black. It's kind of like silky blouse. These scuba trousers. 245. They are 60 bucks. That's actually a really good price. They 
Theory's like sweater dress, one twenty nine. Oh my god, these are like leather. They're 150, these leather leggings. Size 8. You kind of want to try these on. Because they are full leather. They're like leather leather. These would be really good for the fall. Because they're actual leather. They replace are in $200. This kind of reminds me of a Veronica Beard one I've seen before that they've done. And then they have these theory little cashmeres. The bottoms, the bottoms are 100. And the tops, I think they're like 130. Yeah, I knew, 130. So 230 for a cashmere set from theory. More puppets. This skirt is really cute. Sweaters, like sweater season is literally upon us. These little kind of like pajama -y pants, 60 bucks. And they are, um, I don't even know what brand this is. This is the brand. I've never heard of this brand before. Oh, they have like these Vince leathery brown pants. They're $400. Uh, but they're so buttery soft. The color looks better in person. They're like literally butter soft. They're so pretty. These ones must have retailed for well over a thousand. Yeah, $1,200. $1,200. They're so pretty. Kenzo hoodie to 29. Like a beard dress, 150. And then they have a skirt, and this one is 100. And they have like a bunch of them. Probably could be a skirt, three seventy-five, and they're eighty. Buttons. I've never heard of this brand. If anybody, if anybody knows anything about this brand, let me know. I was ready for that Target collaboration with Sandy Lang and like Neely Lothan and a bunch of other brands. I'm so excited for it. Well, oh, they have a Coach blazer for a hundred bucks, and it retails for eight hundred. It's in a size eight. Ooh, I'm willing to try this on. It's actually pretty cute. I'm willing to try it on. It's like this really pretty, like, uh, Hoon's tooth print. They have these Weekend Max Mara trousers. They're everything. 170, like, the color, like, the pleating. Like, uh, so pretty with a pair of, like, block heels. Everything. Oh my god, they have a parto top. I wonder where this came from. If anybody recognizes this tag, let me know down below. This is not Saks, not Neiman's, not Nordstrom, and not Bloomingdale's. Maybe Stanley Korshak. $300. This is really pretty. I think it's Stanley Korshak. That could be wrong though. I don't think it's Stanley Korshak because the, the ones that they have are like gray and it says it like double-sided. Maybe Intermix? I don't know. Oh my god, they have some Prada skirts. Prada. This is a first. They've never seen Prada ready to wear. That 
It's a first. I've never seen Prada ready to wear here. But I definitely am yeah, gonna try these on. These are everything. I kind of like it. Yeah, that's all they have for the runway. They don't have a whole lot, but there's like four items that I'm gonna try on. I really like that scarf. That's very classic. And for 150, it's not a bad price at all. So I'm gonna be showing you everything that I'm gonna be trying on. So like I said, we have this coach blazer. Uh, it's a hundred dollars from 800. Um, it's super cute. Not sure how I feel about it. These jeans I'm like absolutely in love with. They have no stretch, but they seem a little too long. I'm gonna move these because I don't want to drop them. But we may have to get these tailored if I do like them. I have a feeling these are gonna come home with me. Brown leather pants from Vince. Lambskin leather from $1,200 for four. And then these and these are um, Theory, and I know Theory runs small. Leather, uh, kind of like, they're not leggings. I won't, we'll see how they fit. For 150 and I'm pretty sure these retail for well over a thousand dollars so um, I'm gonna check if these are actual leather 100% lambskin leather I know you can kind of see everything but I'll wear everything proper so it would fit the back is nice I lambskin leather doesn't really have like a whole lot of stretch but I like how the way they fit and it's really hard to find really nice high quality leather pants in general and I like how these fit I wish they were like a little bit more on the ankle side they're a little bit long. I'm not sure if I can get leather hemmed. I've never done that before. I don't even know if that's a thing. But these are size 8. And they fit pretty comfortably. Like, I have one from Paige. And I feel like they are going to rip sometimes. And these ones are very comfortable. Like, I feel confident that I could have a good night. And they're not going to rip. But these ones with, like, platform shoes would be a vibe. They're not bad for 150 Okay, these ones blow it out the ballpark. These fit. These are more legging. Now, definitely if I have to pick one, I would honestly pick these over these. These are nice. It's a good basic, but I do have the page ones. These ones literally fit perfectly. They're high-waisted. Um, they have. They they feel very comfortable. They cut my back really well. They're actual real leather. I have like a lot of brown bags. They're very comfortable. Oh my god. Oh my god. These are so pretty. Back pocket. Lambskin leather. Luxurious. Aritzia Winter 150. These are like a classic wardrobe. Cut me really well. I really like these. Oh, they're so pretty. And I like the tailoring on them too. Okay, these ones I can button up, but I don't feel like, you know, hogging, but I don't really care for them now that they're on. I necessarily don't care for the crease in the front. They do fit. They're so pretty though. And then I'm gonna go ahead and try on the blazer. I care for it, it has like no stretch. I feel like if I move my back, the fabric's gonna pop. It's a size 8. I do like the buttons and the fabric. But these two are no. I think I'm going to get these. These ones are worth it. They are so pretty. And they're so soft to the touch. So these ones, um, it's going to be a fall investment. I'm going to do them. They're so pretty. They fit like a glove. They're 400 bucks, but it's a wardrobe investment. And they're real leather. These ones fit like leggings. I technically have page ones. If I lose like three pounds, they'll fit. These ones, I didn't like the fit. This one, the fit on it was really off. So these ones are going to be the winner. No, they are everything. Like you can see out of them, like the pleating and everything. They're really nice. I really enjoy them. I don't know why I've been sucker for ready to wear. I've never been such a big ready-to-wear person, but I've just been into it. These are gonna be a yes. I need to leave before I buy more stuff, but I am in love with them. They are everything. So we're here, we're having dinner. I'm about to eat this up. I'm so hungry. I didn't even eat all my cava. Got a very, very sweet drink. And then, are you a happy camper? 
I am like beyond happy. This food is so fun. Girl, you haven't even taken a bite, girl. Clock at the house. I'm just kidding. Yes, I have. Man, I didn't know my Nate was gonna end up swimming. This is what I'm doing. 